a powerful explosion caused by a gas leak in a Jaffa construction materials store late Monday night killed three people, and lightly injured at least five others. Be the first to know, join our Facebook page. Function, D, S, I, D, var J, S, F, J, S equal D get elements patag name, S, 0, if, D get element beard, I, D, return, J, S equal D creatilment, S, J, S dot I, D equal I, D, J, S, S, R, C equal slash slash connect Facebook dot net slash N underscore us slash all J, S number X, F, B, M, L equal 1 and app I, D equal 1, 6, 3, 4, 1, 4, 8, 0, 6, 8, 9, 7, FJS parent node insert before, JS, FJS, document, script, Facebook JSSDK, the explosion, which caused the Yefit Street building to collapse, could be heard as far away as central Tel Aviv, several kilometers away at least six fire and rescue teams, multiple police units and the home. Front command were called in to contain the blaze and secure the scene in the Ajami neighborhood. According to police, Two men, identified as Ali Abu Jama, 22, and Ryman Huri, 20, were declared dead at the scene. Huri, a resident of Jaffa, was buried in the debris. Jama, who lived in an apartment adjacent to the explosion, was killed when his roof collapsed. A third unidentified victim in his 40s, who sustained third degree burns all over his body, died after being rushed to Wolfson Medical Center in Holon. We treated the injured man approximately 40 years old, who was unconscious and suffering from multi-organ injury, recounted MDA paramedic Matan Mosh Doshi. He was suffering from blast injuries and burns all over his body. Five others were treated by Magan David Adam first responders for shock and light injuries, police said the area surrounding the store was cordoned off until firefighters contained and extinguished the blaze police spokesman Mickey Rosenfeld said an investigation into the explosion has been launched, but that terrorism has been ruled out after fire and rescue investigators said it was likely caused by a gas leak from an unlicensed cylinder attached to the building. Police and emergency units, including forensics and bomb disposal experts, arrived at the scene and immediately tried to determine the cause of the explosion, which was the gas cylinder, said Rosenfeld. When the rubble was removed, two bodies were discovered and the third man was rushed to hospital with burns all over his body. We have ruled out that it was a terrorist attack and the main focus of the investigation is that it was a gas leak. We are also looking to see if the business was being operated without a license. Drive. Batya Ludman, a clinical psychologist, and Dorit Mayer Feld, a clinical social worker, who volunteer as members of United Hatzalah's Psychotrauma and Crisis Response Unit, described the scene of the explosion. Ludman and Mayer Feld were among eight Psychotrauma and Crisis Response Unit responders who came from R.A. Anana, Tel Aviv, and as far away as Jerusalem to support victims of the blast. When we were called to the scene, we didn't know whether it was a mass casualty incident from a physical or psychological injury perspective, or both, said Ludman on Tuesday. Last night, when I was at the call, I met a woman who was sitting on the step of a storefront with another woman. While she seemed composed, she certainly was suffering from the trauma of the explosion.